Good morning once again and welcome back to my channel. My name is Doris and the word that I have for you today, it is a word of rebuke and it is also a word of encouragement from the Lord. But before we get to the word, let us pray. Father, I thank you. I bless you. I glorify your name, Jesus. Lord, I thank you for yet another opportunity that you have given me to share your word. Lord, I pray that this word is going to be a blessing. This word is going to be an encouragement and a revelation to somebody. May you anoint your word, my Father, even as I release it, that whoever is going to hear this word, Lord, they shall hear that which you are saying. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The scripture that the Lord gave me is in the book of Joshua chapter 7 and you are going to read from verses 10 to 13 and this is what it says. Get up, command the people to purify themselves in preparation for tomorrow. For this is what the Lord, the God of Israel says hidden among you, O Israel are things set apart for the Lord. You will never defeat your enemies until you remove these things from among you. The Lord showed me that there are so many people who are fearing who who are feeling so discouraged at this time. There are so many who are feeling so disheartened at this time because of all the warfare that you have gone through, because of all the battles that you have gone through. You have some of you feel like you have endured so much and you don't even understand why you had to go through so much and it seems like it is not coming to an end. The waiting season has been so long, the delay has been so unbearable to the point that some of you have started second guessing what the Lord spoke to you. Some of you have started having thoughts of going back to Egypt. You have started entertaining thoughts of going back to Egypt. You have forgotten that it is the Lord your God who brought you out of that land of bondage. You have forgotten that you have been living in a land of bondage. Some of you have started entertaining thoughts of going back to that relationship. You have been thinking of going back to that relationship. You have been thinking of going back to that to that job. You have been thinking of going back to that place. You have been thinking of going back to that thing, that situation, that circumstance that God brought you out from. You have forgotten the years that you cried to the Lord. You have forgotten all the tears that you shed when you cried to the Lord to burst you out of bondage. And now you have been thinking of going back to that bondage. You feel like things were bearable in Egypt. You even you even think that you can manage. If you could go back, it's going to be okay. And the enemy has been lying to you that things were okay. Things were manageable when you were in Egypt. You have forgotten the victories that the Lord gave you. You have forgotten how far the Lord has brought you. You have forgotten that it was not by power. It was not by might. It was by the Spirit of the Lord that you are where you are today. You have forgotten everything that the Lord has been doing and has done in your life out to, up to this point and you have been desiring Egypt. When the children of Israel were confronted with challenges in the wilderness, they cried out to Moses and they started desiring Egypt. They started saying that it, it would have been better off if they had died in Egypt instead of having to confront all these challenges. Some of you have been thinking that there are too many giants to fight. There are too many giants to bring down in your land of promise. <clears throat> you have been thinking that it is too much. You can't handle this anymore. You have been thinking that possessing this land of promise is too much for you. You can't handle this. You have been thinking 
that it will be better off to just go back to the way things were. You have been thinking. And I stress the word thinking because remember those thoughts are not your thoughts. It's the enemy that has been attacking your mind. You have been thinking that it will be better off to just settle. Go back. Just go back to that relationship. Just go back to that friendship. Just go back to that job, that career. Go back to that city, that town. Things were okay. You have forgotten that you are living in a land of bondage. And it is God who busted you out of that land of bondage. The Lord said to Joshua, get up. And that is exactly what the Lord is saying to you. Get up. This is not the time for pity parties. You have been feeling so broken. You have, you don't even see the point of putting up a fight anymore. Some of you feel like God has disappointed you. Some of you feel like God has disappointed you and the people that you expected to stand with you have also disappointed you. You had such great hopes that God will have come through for you by now. You have felt betrayed by people that you trusted in. You have felt betrayed by God. You feel like you have failed. You feel like you have failed God. Listen to me. This is not the reality. It is a smoke screen. There is a hidden there is a hidden strategy in what God is doing in your life. Remember, the word of God says that his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. The Lord is saying to you, get up. Get up from that pity party. Get up from that disappointment. Get up from that failure. Get up from that brokenness. The Lord is saying to you, get up from that betrayal. You have been called for such a time as this. You are God's elect. That situation, that circumstance does not change what God has promised you. The Lord promised you that he is going to bring you to your land of promise. He promised you that he's going to give you that promise. You have paid a great price to carry the glory of God. You cannot abort that promise. You cannot miscarry that promise. You cannot about what God has blessed in you. You, yes, the Lord is saying to you that yes, it has not been easy. It has not been convenient for you. There are times that you have there are times that you have felt so stretched. Your faith has been stretched to the limit. Yes, you have been pulled back and forth. You have been pushed around and even ridiculed. The enemy wanted to silence you, to stop you from saying what the Lord has spoken to you. From The enemy wanted to silence you from decreeing the promise that the Lord has given you. Yes. You have become restless. You have become uncomfortable. But the Lord is saying to you, get up. That is the word of the Lord to you. Get up. The Lord instructed Joshua to command the people to purify themselves in preparation for tomorrow. There is a tomorrow that is upon you. There is a next day that is upon you right now and you must purify yourself for where the Lord is taking you. <clears throat> Joshua had to deal with Achan's hidden sin. Now, the Lord is saying to you, it is time for you to deal 
with those things that you have allowed in your life. Now is not the time to be discouraged. Now is not the time to be disheartened. You must deal with any hidden sin in your heart. You must deal with any hidden sin in your life. God wants you to God wants to give you complete and total victory over your enemies. Remember, you are already in your promised land. You are out of the wilderness. You are in your promised land. Deal with those heart issues that you have allowed in your heart, in your life. God is giving you complete and total victory over that situation, over that circumstance. Deal with that fear. The Lord is saying to you, deal with that unbelief. The Lord is saying to you, deal with that worry. Deal with that anxiety. The Lord is saying to you, deal with that discouragement. Deal with that disappointment. They are not of God. This is not the time for that piripari. Get up. It is time for you to possess your land. This is not the time to be discouraged. This is not the time to be disappointed. Those things that you have allowed in your heart, they are a hindrance to you. They are hindering you. The Lord is saying to you, deal with that offense, deal with that anger, deal with that resentment. Some of you have allowed resentment in your heart. You have become so resentful of everything around you, of God. The Lord is saying to you, get rid of the accursed things that you have allowed in your heart. It is not time. This is not the time to have a pity party. It is time for you to get up and possess the promise. This time, you are going to have complete and total victory. In Joshua chapter Joshua chapter 8 verses 2, it says, You will destroy them as you destroyed Jericho and its king. But this time, you may keep the plunder and the livestock for yourself. Set an ambush behind the town. Your enemy cannot defeat you. The Lord has given you a strategy. This time, you will have complete and total victory. God gave Joshua precise instruction to set an ambush behind the city you see the men the men of a they thought that they were dealing with the same defeated army as before when they came the second time after joshua and his army and this is what the lord is saying to you it was a strategy you did not understand what he was doing in your life. You see, your enemy thought that he will come at you the same way that he did before. Your enemy thought that he was going to take you out like he did before. The Lord allowed you to be backed in a corner. The Lord allowed for you to be pushed to the limit so that the enemy can think that you are defeated. So that the enemy can think that he has an upper hand over you so that your enemy can think that he has victory over you. God's ways are not our ways. The Lord blindsided your enemy and when the enemy thought that he had victory over you, what the Lord has done is that he has been purifying you. You have been going through a process and now the Lord is fighting for you. You are not the same defeated person that you are before. You have risen now in power. What the enemy did not understand is that you have gone through a purification process and now the Lord is fighting that battle for you. The Lord is saying to you, get up. Get up from that pity party. This is not the time to be discouraged. This is not the time to be disheartened. This is not the time for that pity party. Put away those sackcloth. Wipe away your tears. Wash your face. Square up your shoulders. Walk tall. 
God is giving you complete and total victory over your enemies. You are about to see your complete and total victory over your enemies. The land is yours. The promise is yours. Your enemy cannot defeat you. Stop thinking of going back to Egypt. There is no way back to Egypt. The Red Sea was closed up. It is time for you to possess your land of promise. It doesn't matter how many giants rise up against you. It doesn't matter what the enemy throws at you. Victory is yours. You, your victory is a guarantee. That promise is yours. There is no going back to Egypt. Get up. That is the word of the Lord for you. Get up and possess your land of promise. There is no going back. And that is the word that the Lord gave me to bring to you. May the Lord abundantly bless you. And remember that your father loves you so much. He loves you with an everlasting love. And there is nothing that can separate you from his love, which is in Christ Jesus. And I love you too. And I appreciate all of you. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And I thank you so much for all your comments and your emails. They're always an encouragement to me. Thank you so much for those of you who have been praying for me and for all of you who have been sending me your prayer request. I am praying for you and I am standing with you in prayer. For all of you who have been giving into this ministry, may the Lord increase you and enlarge you and expand you in every area of your life. God bless you.